my name is Elizabeth Rocha Suniga. I am a 2L JD student and I am from Marysville, California. So there are several reasons why I wanted to come to law school, but coming from an underserved community, I really recognized at a young age how important a resource could be. And I really wanted to make that difference and be there for people and uplift them in any way that I can. And when I was an undergrad, I did a lot of public service work and I recognize that within the legal profession, I'm able to uplift my community better and better equip them um, to, to fight for, for what they believe in. And I really want to be a voice for my community. Additionally, I feel like there's a lot of great attorneys out there, but we need more Spanish speaking attorneys to uplift communities that are often forgotten. And I really want to make that difference and be a leader in my community and law school has Law school has been one of those avenues where I feel as if I can exhaust that and learn more and share that knowledge with those um, in my community. Well, I chose McGeorge because when I was researching schools, the immigration clinic, the immigration fairs, all of that passion toward community building really caught my attention. Additionally, the Sacramento location is beautiful. In undergrad, I also was able to travel to the capital and really advocate on behalf of the student body there. And it just really opened up my eyes to the possibilities of having a career in the government, um, but also uh, the amount of uh, community organizations that are here in Sacramento are incredible. And the community here in McGeorge has been very uplifting, especially when you find your group of people. And so McGeorge just really spoke to me in that regard and being close to home, I definitely made McGeorge stand out. Over the summer, I was able to work for the California Rural Legal Assistance nonprofit law firm across the state of California, and I was able to expose myself to the real life experiences of our undocumented community, and I was able to help and have very client-oriented work, which I really appreciated, and I love um, creating that rapport for, for clients, and so that experience really helped me secure that I want to be in this field. Um, additionally, I've been able to recently start volunteering with the Immigration Clinic, um, being an attorney of the day for people that do not have representation in immigration hearings, and that has honestly been so eye-opening as well and has further um, secured the reality that I want to pursue this career. And McGeorge really offers that here, and so it's, it's great to be able to explore uh, what you want to pursue within the JD program. So there are so many things that I want to do, <laughs> but I feel as if for this moment, I want to focus a lot on social justice work, uh, civil rights, and uplifting communities, and fighting for people that are often forgotten within the legal system. And so I want to have a career where I am being an advocate for people. My dream job is working for the ACLU as a staff attorney, and that's gonna take a long time, but I, I want to do and build, build toward that and have experiences where I am helping people side by side and making a difference in their lives. So I currently serve as the president of the American Constitution Society. We are an organization that focuses on the Constitution and its interpretation to fully reflect society and uplift those communities that are, again, uh, often forgotten. And so we are a progressive organization and we host events alongside our ACS Sacramento chapter, our nationals, and other ACS chapters across the state. I also serve as the Vice President of the Public Policy Administration Society. Uh, we focus a lot on policy work, ranging from education to voting, uh, to housing, and just really having those conversations with our community members. I also serve as the Co-Vice Chair for the Unity Caucus. Uh, that organization unites the student body, and it's powerful, it's beautiful, and I love being a part of it. Uh, we uplift voices there and are there for the student body. And I also serve as a diversity representative for the Latinx Law Student Association community. I love LASA and we uplift and educate and provide networking opportunities with our alumni uh, and furthering um, the community within the Latinx culture. I think women deserve to be seen and I think once we see women in the legal profession we see ourselves and that furthers more women to take charge and be in the legal profession as well. Additionally, I think having women of color 
in the legal profession is incredibly critical. So me being here is against a lot of odds. And so being a role model and showing other young women that they can do this is honestly very fulfilling. And so I think having women, having women of color in law is very powerful and we need more of that. Um, for several reasons, and I think most importantly for others to see themselves. I think this is a perfect place to explore different avenues of law that you can find a new passion for. And I think McGeorge does a lot of good work when it comes to community and making sure that students are surrounded by people that are there for them and uplift them. And so I would recommend McGeorge. Uh, definitely do your research, of course, whether, wherever you want to go to law school. Um, but definitely choose a school that best speaks to you. Some advice that I would give future JD students is to make sure that you're taking care of your mental health. Um, it can be very hard, especially when there's so many things going on and sometimes things are said that are very hurtful. Um, and so I think having your mental health a priority here is very important and making time for yourself, but also making time for your family and your loved ones and not forgetting that you have a strong support system wherever you're coming from and um, having friends that are there for you and can see you for who you are is very important as well. And so just take care of yourself through your JD experience and make sure that you are prioritizing your mental health um, because that's gonna go a long way once we start being great attorneys.